<laughs> yeah, you need to think about it. Uh, so to explain the concepts of IT financial management and IT risk management, these are the things that most of our customers are very interested in understanding today, and they are the driver for this model which we've put together. When we talk about IT risk management, the basic concepts are simple. Um, we have items that exist in our business, servers that we work with, um, you know, that sit in racks, right, that's, that support the business, and we have things like uh, big storage arrays that have big disks in them, and maybe other systems that sit out there and support applications. All of those items contribute to the business, but some of them are more central to the business than others, right? If we start to look at this, if we have business services that tie to, uh, you know, given items on this list, what we want to understand is what are those central items that support a large part of our business because this is where our vulnerability is. If we were to lose this system, if it were to become unavailable, all the rest of these systems which are supporting business services for us now become impacted in some way. Maybe they're unavailable, maybe their performance is degraded, something like that. All of these systems tied together and we want to understand what sits at the middle of the web because that's where our vulnerabilities are. Okay, so understanding that is extremely important. Other systems sit out here on the edge and if we lose one of those systems, that's important. We want to track that and understand that because there are people, you know, who kind of sit behind that who are impacted. But these other systems all have multiple people sitting behind them and as a result, all of these people are unhappy. Right, because their their uh, their systems become unavailable. So this is the concept of IT risk management: figuring out when we build out our systems, who's impacted if particular pieces of that system become unavailable. As we also drill into this, the other thing that customers are extremely interested in is figuring out the costs of the way these systems lay together. Trying to understand the total cost of ownership and boiling that up. So just like we did when we talked about um, IT risk management, we also want to understand and talk about IT financial management. So as we started in IT risk management with a series of um, systems that exist in the business, we'll draw those here. And these guys are sitting at the lowest layer. So these are your servers and your storage arrays and things like that, your network components. These guys are easy to capture costs against because we acquire them. We know what it costs to acquire them. We fix them when they break. We plan changes against them and we work with that. So our systems help us capture all of the information about the costs at this layer. The problem is this layer doesn't mean anything to the business. They don't care about a service. What they care about are the applications which depend on these items. And as those applications roll up, the business services that support our users, whether those users are internal or external users, right? these people are supported by these applications. Understanding how the costs of these individual items roll up through the application layer to the customer facing business services is extremely important to IT financial management because it helps us understand cost of ownership for our items, which is very important, but more importantly, it helps us understand the cost of ownership of services. That's a unique capability to understand what it costs us to manage our service. As we provide that service to a customer, we know what our customer pays us for that service and that lets us understand profitability. Even imagine if we understand for a given business service what it costs us to support that service. If that service is profitable, we can say, hey, I want you to go out and find more customers like this because these customers are profitable customers for us. If we have another service, another business service that lives out here that also um, you know, maybe taps some of these IT resources, which is not profitable for us, we can say, how do we take these customers and move them to this new service where we can make money on?